Lent, the time when we lose something precious to gain something priceless. The Mother Church has officially entered into the liturgical season of Lent by marking crosses of ash on our forehead. The word Lent comes from the old English word Lenten, meaning springtime. Spring is a wonderful season. Blooming nature symbolizes rejuvenation, new life, regrowth, resurrection and renewal. Lent is a season of renewal, a time for retrospection, a time for change. Ash is a symbol of the direction of our existence. A passage from dust to life and life to dust. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 presents to us a God who fashions humankind out of dust using his own hands and breathing into his creation the breath of life. Yes, we are the dust of the earth, the dust into which God poured out his heaven, the dust into which God breathed the breath of life, the dust into which God put his dreams. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 19 we read, You are the dust of the earth and to dust you shall return. Yes, we are the dust of the earth. Let us not waste this beautiful life by chasing the dreams of the dust. In this Lenten season, through prayer, fasting, sacrifices, penance and abstinence, let us strive to go beyond the fleeting realities of the world to the reality of God. The Old Testament presents to us ash as a symbol of repentance. We see Job repenting in ashes and dust. Daniel turns to God in earnest prayer and fasting, wearing sackcloth and ashes. The king and the people of Nineveh repented by putting on sackcloth and sitting on ashes. Repentance is the first step towards renewal. Pope Francis defines Lent as a wake-up call of the soul. Humanity is passing through a very difficult time. We have not yet completely escaped the lethal grip of the pandemic. The threat of a destructive war between Russia and Ukraine looms over the world. Let the cry of our repentance, our earnest prayers, our fasting, our penance reach the Almighty Lord. As Pope Francis has exhorted, let us spend this day in prayer and fasting, especially dedicating it for peace in Ukraine. May this Lenten season help each one of us to become better individuals, open to the realities, the sufferings and the problems of the people around us. I wish all of you a holy season of Lent.